Good morning, everyone. I'm getting a little bit earlier start to my day today. I need to pick up my sister this morning from something because life of the oldest sibling is your their sofa, basically. Um, and then I need to go to work. And then I have to run some errands after work. Tonight, me and my sister are headed to Milwaukee. We're headed to Summerfest to see a Thomas Rhett concert. And I'm very excited about it. It should be super fun. Um, but it's going to be like a late night, obviously. And we're leaving at like 4.30 to take the shuttle down there. So I need to just fit in a lot of stuff before then. By the way, if you guys are new to my channel and you just came across this video, my name is Paris. And you should subscribe. That was like a super delayed sentence because I'm so tired. Uh, I start every vlog by saying I'm tired, but it's because shit girl's always tired. Here's my little outfit of the day that I just threw on for work. If it wasn't obvious, I have like a very casual work environment, which is why I'm allowed to wear the stuff that I do in my vlog. So I'm wearing this cute pink tank top from Lululemon and then these white shorts from Lululemon. And then I use my little medium sized gray long chump tote bag for work. I have to pack my stuff. I have to bring my computer and stuff today because I'm working on a little thing. Let's go get this bread. just left CVS because I had to pick up a couple like super random things. Naturally with any CVS purchase I got this absurdly long receipt. I got cotton pads because I use these to take off my makeup. I've been out of these for a little bit which is like fine because I never wear makeup in the summer but I know I'm gonna be wearing makeup tonight so I thought it was time to purchase some more so I can take off my makeup and then I got a new concealer. Hopefully this is my right color. Maybelline Instant Age Run Concealer. I've been using this literally since middle school. It is the best. It's got a water and I know that like Save the Turtles YouTube is gonna kill me right now but I seriously never use plastic water bottles you guys. Like I have my swell in my bag right now that I bring to work every day. Like I use my hydro flask all day long. I wanted water for the ride there and everything because it's like an hour and a half drive you're like not allowed to bring in liquids or anything so i just want to have this so i could drink it and then just throw out the water bottle when i get there i still don't know what i'm gonna wear because that's like my life i tried some on last night and like none of them looked good because you know how that happens where like you picture an outfit in your mind and then you put it on your body and then it actually looks whack yeah that's what's happening with me so i just straightened my hair really fast i haven't straightened my hair in so long this is the top and bralette combo that i had been planning on wear the concert for a while but i just feel like it is too cropped especially with these shorts tried it on with like my high-waisted denim shorts but then that didn't look really good i don't know i might try it with a skirt like a black or white denim skirt but i don't know i mean i can't ask your guys opinion obviously because this is gonna be after the fact this is the outfit that i finally decided on wearing we need to leave super soon so i'm gonna rush through this really quick but this denim chambray tank top is from American Eagle. It's like super old. This necklace is so cute. I really love it. I got it from a boutique in Boulder, Colorado. White denim shorts. This black faux leather belt from like Forever 21 or something. And then my white high top Converse. They're already super dirty. And like my party shoes. So they're also my outdoor concert shoes. I'm going to wear this Converse top or something. I'm bringing everything in this cute little black quilted backpack from Guess. Like I still have <laughs> Let's look at the scenery. Wow. <laughs> We've been on the Badger bus to Summerfest for like a while now. We just entered the like Milwaukee zone. Um, so we passed by like, if you guys like know Milwaukee, you know how there's that like big highway complex type of thing. You guys know what I'm talking about if you know Milwaukee. There's a ton of traffic, I'm sure, going to Summerfest, but we're almost closed. It's been like kind of boring. Got Chipotle. Oh, appetizer. Oh, baby. So we've officially disembarked, but I feel a little bit swindled and lied to because the website of the shuttle said it would drop us off at the gate of Summerfest and we are like five blocks away like and it's not horrible you know it's nice out things could for sure be worse this is not the gate like anywhere we saw like a 10 You're minute like walk out of breath. I'm out of breath Dickerson and Dustin Lynch are opening for him and I'm really excited because so I love I love both of them. We got our lemonade. And we made it. It's so nice out. It's gonna be good. Three artists that I love it's gonna be in great. concert. What could be better? Thank you guys for coming out to the very hot summer tour. <laughs> Yes, I have! Stuck in a bottle. The 
never got the chance to touch the sea. You make me better than I was before. Thank God I'm yours. <laughs> every day for the past weeks it feels like outfit of the day that i'm wearing for friday i'm wearing this butterfly t-shirt from urban outfitters black lululemon shorts and then i'm wearing my new pink and white air force ones i just got these and i'm still like a little bit unsure about them to be honest told myself i would never buy plain white air force ones but i really like the pink accents on this because i love pink casual fits for friday breakfast of champions because this is all like i feel like eating right now um this enormous costco sized box of honey nut cheerios and almond milk. Bone up the teeth. Rachel Ray who, Gordon Ramsay who. I guess I should introduce this section of the vlog. I don't know, this is most likely just gonna be a continuation, continuation of my vlog from Wednesday. It was so much fun. It was really nice weather, great like view from up top in the lawn. I had been to that amphitheater before a few years ago. I went to Future and Migos and Big Sean. Real subscribers remember that vlog. It was so much fun to hear some of my favorite songs live, songs that I've loved since like middle school from all three of them. I didn't really vlog anything yesterday, Thursday, the day after just because I like didn't do anything. And I'm about to go into work now, Friday morning, work grind, chase that paper. I get paid today, so that's lit. I have an eye doctor appointment later today, so that's really fun. Hey guys, a little bit later now, I got some gas, I went to the eye doctor, grabbed me some more contacts, so really riveting stuff I've been doing this afternoon. Just gonna do a quick little Amazon Prime unboxing. Got a new phone case for my phone, I got this cute like mint green silicone one. I've had this cheetah case on my phone for a couple weeks now and like it's cute and everything, but I'm kind of getting sick of like cheetah constantly, so I wanted another simple plain color and I really like this one for summer. Then I got a new case for my laptop because the one I have now is broken. It's fine because it was like also cheap on Amazon and I've had it for a year but it is breaking so I got this new one. I don't know what the best way to show it is but if you guys can see it's this really pretty like blue and white marbly pattern. <laughs>
we're here in our private jet. Obviously, we're on our way to Bora Bora for 4th of July. Just oh, yeah. kidding. It's been about three hours yeah. in the car. Just about made it to Manaqua. Um, there's really great really great scenery as you guys can tell headed to cabin for fourth of july too. i'm not gonna vlog like every second but you know just a couple clips highlights to add i'm gonna add this to our thomas red vlog if you guys also live in wisconsin you know that up north is a whole like two hour vicinity of the state i feel like there's so many people on my snap map around here he's poor look at those look at those strings on his earbuds Whoa. i don't speak broke me and Paige watched a movie well we watched well, we were part not of even movie. half not even half it sucked it is terrible. <laughs> on the insta pig grind is what else do we do together honestly this swimsuit by the way if you guys are wondering it is old i got it like a year or two ago from a store called don't ask why but i think it like went out of business um i really like it though because it has like stars on it but the brand is motel which i know they sell in princess polly but again i got it like two years ago so major swimsuit is from shein it's in my so bikini cute. haul the water is so nice they Where the police are. There's police right there. I gotta roll up. <laughs> Fit check. Oh my gosh. I can't. I didn't know you had those. And on our Fourth of July, I look like a founding father with my one braid. Fourth of July might be my favorite holiday besides like Christmas. I'm this USA T-shirt from Brandy Melville, and then my red blue lemon speed shorts. American flag bikini top. It's from my sister's. I think it's just from like Old Navy or something. July 6th. I believe I just got back home yesterday evening ish from being up north at the cabin for the 4th of July So I put in some of those vlog clips I don't really have that much but vlog has been literally all over the place and it's been spanning like two weeks But I also just got a haircut today. It's what it looks like Um, so if i'm touching my hair even more than usual, that's why but i'm in the middle of packing right now tomorrow I head out of town to go to colorado I haven't been back since like winter break and this is like my fifth time visiting there I think so i'm really excited to be back there. I love boulder so much I came home to some packages yesterday as always because I thought I'd throw them in this little random vlog. I ordered some items from Princess Polly. This is not sponsored. I feel like I'm the only YouTuber in the world that hasn't gotten a Princess Polly sponsorship yet, but I'm not bitter. It's fine. Anyway, I bought all this stuff with my own money because I really do like Princess Polly. So I got this little tank top. It might be kind of hard to show. This is the Tiller top and this one I might actually be returning. I'm not sure yet, but it is a one shoulder tank top and it looks like this if you guys can sort of see. It has two little straps that make like a cutout on the other shoulder. It is a cute little one shoulder type of dealio. Um, it is white and it's ribbed so it is a tad bit see-through which is why I might be returning this. The next thing I got is this skirt. I'm so obsessed with this skirt you guys. This is the Marlo mini skirt. I got this in a US 4 like this. These skirts have been so trendy lately. It's all white so I don't know if it's going to show up but it's basically just this layered tiered ruffly flowy skirt type of thing. This is like the cutest summer piece ever. I have so many little tops that I'm super excited to wear this with. And I'm looks like this got a lot of white things i guess um i got this romper which i also really really love this is the alder play suit and i got this in a us4 because i knew that this would run like really big and it has this really cute like v cutouts in the back that's showing up at all but 
um it really honestly looks like a dress because it's so loose and flowy but it is a romper so it's so comfortable and it has pockets you guys like oh my gosh the white looks good with the tan looks good with so many cute little accessories and fun shoes in the summertime i really wanted this in the beige color that they have it in but then they sold out so i just got it in white it's like such a pretty little summer piece and then the final item i got from princess polly are these stone cold denim shorts these i'm pretty sure i'm going to be returning i got these in a us4 or an australian 8 and they're just like some plain high-rise black denim short definitely small like when i was trying to zipper these up i was definitely like sucking in and like struggling to button it so i feel like i should return these and exchange these for a six I feel like if i ate a big dinner i would not be able to attach these so but they're a really cute short i like the fit of them they're not too like they don't show your butt cheeks or anything because a lot of princess polly shorts that i like saw on the website have like your whole butt cheek out but i really do like these shorts next package that i had waiting for me is this pair of nike air force ones you guys can see i have been on the hunt for these i showed you guys earlier in the vlog i got a pair of white air force ones with like a little bit of pink detailing but i ended up actually returning those because they just like weren't really growing on me um but i had seen the like suede colored platform air force ones and i really really like them they have like a pink color a beige color and they had this like dark gray color that i really really wanted but i couldn't find them anywhere i found them on like stock x or ebay or something but they were like super super overpriced found them on poshmark gray suede platform these are the sage low style i'm pretty sure again um this color is a little bit hard to find they might be getting kind of washed out but they are like a dark gray suede air force one with a big white platform i love platform shoes they look so flattering so in love with these you guys they are so comfortable and I think they're gonna look so adorable with so many outfits and they're gonna be really great for school too because you can wear them with like cute joggers and leggings and everything and like I said they're so comfortable so they're gonna be great for walking around they're gonna be great for cute fun little summer outfits and I love these because I've been on the hunt for this color forever and I couldn't find any for under like $200 which I was not gonna spend for a pair of like Air Force Ones you know um but found these on Poshmark I'm just gonna end this vlog here because I don't have anything left to add I was gonna do like a pack with me but I figured that would be kind of boring. So my next vlog will probably be in Boulder. So thank you guys for watching this vlog. I know it was super random and it had so much stuff and it's been going over for like two weeks now. But thank you guys for watching this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Follow me on Instagram and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.